Hey guys, my name is Zan Barksdale with Never Miss a Sign, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk all about generating your wristbands and give you an in-depth look at everything you know need to know to generate a wristband for your team. So if you notice, I'm in the members area. I've gone ahead and logged in, and this is the screen it takes you to uh, once you enter your username and password. Uh, if you notice, it looks similar to the past versions. Uh, I wanted to keep a consistent feel. So the guys who have been using the software for a few years now, uh, it, it feels the same to you. Um, but there are some new features down here that we're going to show you, and I'm really excited about. So the first thing we'll get to, uh, we'll get to, we'll, we'll enter the name first. It asks to enter a name for the wristband. So for this one, we're going to write NMAS uh, 3.0 test number two. Okay, I had a, I had one test earlier, test number one saved in my, my database. This will be test number two. The next thing we'll do is we'll choose the color uh, of our wristbands. Again, right here you see this is a new feature. It shows you a preview of the color that we choose. And if you notice, there are a lot more options. So we used to just have six colors, I believe. Uh, and now we've got some new options to choose from. So Twitter blue, uh, you see there's gold, uh, Carolina blue, and silver. Uh, lime green. We have auburn orange. Uh, we wanted to make it really customizable so you can choose the color based upon your team uh, and customize the the wristbands even more. So for this one, uh, we'll just go ahead and play and pick uh, Carolina blue. And then the next feature we'll see is it asks us for the grid size. Now the standard grid size that we've always had before now is five by five, which results in 150 boxes on each player card. Uh, now we have a few more options. We can choose a three by three, uh, which gives us 54 boxes. Four by four is 96. Uh, five by five we see is 150 still, and a six by six is 216, which gives us more options than ever before, so that we can put more signs and more plays on one wristband. So for this demo, we'll just choose a six by six, which has 216 boxes. Uh, number of sets is the exact same. Uh, as a reminder, if you have 10 players on your team, you don't need 10 different sets of wristbands. Uh, what a set is, is this is the number of times that it will randomly shuffle your cards and produce different ones. So if I want to have three sets, uh, this will this will give me all the signs that I enter, uh, only three sets, so, so it'll randomly shuffle it three different times. Now I don't necessarily need that for this demo, so I'm going to go back to one set. Uh, and then move on. Uh, down here, it looks it looks familiar, but we have a new feature I think you guys will be excited about. Uh, the, the default value is FBA and Fastball Away, and you'll notice we have a new box beside that uh, where we're able to choose if we want to highlight that particular cell or not. Uh, so what this will do is it gives us six options, six different colors that we can highlight a cell uh, and, and give it a give it a background color uh, if that's what you want to do to draw attention to that one play. So as I start to generate my card, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this one the same for Fastball Away. I'm going to click the green button uh, to add a new sign. Uh, so I'll call this one Fastball In, uh, and then I'll rename this Fastball In. I'm not going to highlight that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll save that for later. Notice the slider below uh, is the same as it's always been before. If I want less, less signals on a card, I'll simply slide this to the left, and you see it says right here how often it will show up. So this one would show up about 51 times as opposed to the fastball away, which would be 165 times. Uh, so I'll go ahead and leave that back where it was. Uh, I'm going to add another sign. Uh, we'll call this one CB for curveball. Uh, I'm not going to highlight this one either, uh, but notice I, I'll click the green button to add another one. If I wanted to delete this sign for any reason, I can click the red minus sign and that would delete it. Uh, but again, I'll add it. We'll call this one uh, change up. And I'm not going to highlight that cell either. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll go ahead and highlight the change up and we'll make it uh, lime green. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add a few more. Uh, we'll make this make this demo short and sweet. I'm not going to add too many signs. I uh, just want to give you uh, a, a quick video to show you how to, how we we'll use it. So we'll call our pickoff play number one P1, and this is pickoff number one. Uh, we can highlight that one if we want. Let's highlight it pink. But we don't need very many pickoffs on our car. We need much more pitches. So I'm going to move the slider down here so that it doesn't show up very often. Uh, and then I'm going to add one more sign. 
we'll add a pitch out. Uh, we'll call it PO. And I'm also going to highlight this one just for the sake of showing you guys how it works. Uh, we've already got a lime green, a pink. So for this one, I'll go with the standard highlighter yellow. Uh, again, I'm going to move my slider down here. And then next, I would click Submit uh, once I'm done generating the card. And then that will take us to the Manage page where it lets us actually manage our wristband database uh, and print them out for us. So again, we see the, the Generate page has some new features. Um, we, we are able to change the grid size. We can highlight cells. We have many more color options to choose from. Uh, and, and really excited about how this is going to work for you. So in the next video on the Manage page, I'll click the Submit button, and we'll take it from there.